Hello, I'm Dr. Serdam. I'm part of the team of experts at Indiana University Health, caring for patients undergoing total knee replacement. Welcome, and thank you for choosing IU Health for your procedure. In this video, I'll tell you what to expect when you're having a total knee replacement. Once the decision to have surgery is made with you and your surgeon, our IU Health team will ensure you are healthy and ready for surgery. You will have an appointment with your surgeon in the office to review x-rays of your knee and to go over important materials and documents prior to arriving at the hospital. You will most likely be seen by your primary care doctor or a hospitalist. A hospitalist is a doctor who manages your health only while you're in the hospital, and they'll help us make sure that you're healthy enough for surgery. Your doctor may ask you to get tests such as blood work, EKG, or even a chest x-ray or other tests as determined by your physician that are important before surgery. As part of your preparation, you will be provided with an educational binder and asked to attend a preoperative total joint replacement class. It's common to have concerns about total joint replacement surgery. The team at IU Health is committed to helping you with these concerns and replacing fear with knowledge. In our pre-surgery joint replacement class, you can gain knowledge about the process, get familiar with our clinical teams, and learn to take control of your situation and the treatment options that are available to you. You will learn what to expect while in the hospital, how to maintain your safety while in the hospital and while at home, and as well, what you should bring with you on the day of your surgery. We want your total knee replacement surgery to go as safely and efficiently as possible. For the best possible results, be sure your doctor knows about any prescriptions and over-the-counter medications that you are taking, as you might need to change these or change how you take them before your surgery. Do not eat or drink anything after midnight the night before surgery. If your doctor has told you to take any medications the morning of your surgery, only take them with a small sip of water. Follow the instructions that you were given for washing with a special cleansing soap called Hibiclins. Leave all jewelry, money, and valuables at home, and please arrive prior to your scheduled procedure time as advised by your surgeon's team in order to complete the registration and begin prep on the day of surgery. Once you arrive at the hospital, you will be admitted to the preoperative area to prepare for your surgery. You'll be asked to change into a hospital gown, and an intravenous line or an IV will be placed in your arm in order to administer fluids and needed medications. You may be given some medication to help you relax. Your surgeon and anesthesiologist will visit you to review the plan for your surgery before going into the operating room. During the procedure, your family will be asked to wait in the family waiting room and they will be kept informed of your progress. When it is time for your procedure, you will be taken to the operating room and given anesthesia and a catheter may be inserted into your bladder. The anesthesiologist will monitor your blood pressure, heart rate, and breathing throughout your surgery. The orthopedic surgeon will make an incision over the top of your knee and begin your total knee replacement. First, the portions of your bone that are being replaced will be removed. Next, your surgeon will shape the remaining bone to accommodate the knee replacement or prosthesis. Then your new components of your knee will be placed and tested to be sure that they are working correctly. Finally, your surgeon will close the incision and apply a dressing. The surgery will take approximately one to two hours. Once the surgery is complete, you will be moved to the recovery room where the nurses will monitor you closely as you wake up from anesthesia. Some people take a bit longer to wake up than others, but you can expect to be in the recovery room for about an hour or two. Your nurse will assess your pain on a scale of zero to 10 and assist you with your pain management needs. You may still have a catheter at this point and possibly oxygen tubes in your nose, but these are only temporary. Your IV will stay in place to help keep you hydrated and provide a place to administer needed medication. Most patients will also have compression sleeves around their lower legs to help prevent blood clots, and you may also receive medicine to help prevent blood clots as well. There will be a dressing to cover your knee. Once you are stable, you will be transported to a hospital room. Your nurses will continue to help manage your pain with the goal of making you comfortable to participate in physical therapy. You can expect to feel pain, but it's temporary and will lessen as you recover and rehabilitate your new knee. Work with your nurse to determine what pain meds are available for you and what works the best. Most patients will get up on the afternoon of surgery with the assistance of a nurse or a physical therapist. Do not get up without assistance until you've been advised to do so by your care team. 
The length of your hospital stay will vary depending on many factors. Some of these factors are your medical comorbidities, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, or your level of function prior to your joint replacement, and the amount of help that you have at home. Your stay may be as long as three nights. You can talk to your surgeon about the specifics. A physical therapist will work with you during your hospital stay to help you achieve greater mobility and ensure that you are moving about safely with your new knee. You will likely use an assistive device such as a walker for assistance and it is important that you take pain medication about 30 to 45 minutes prior to working with your physical therapy or doing your exercises. The more you move around and actively participate in your therapy, the faster you will recover. Once you go home, you'll be able to continue your physical therapy either with home care visits or at an outpatient rehab clinic until you reach your movement goals. Relax a little bit. Good. Remember, if you have any questions about your surgery, you can ask any of our team of specialists. The ultimate goal of your total knee replacement is to improve your overall quality of life. Thank you for choosing Indiana University Health for your orthopedic needs. 